Good evening. Queen Elizabeth II has this evening become our longest reigning monarch. Her reign now surpasses that of Queen Victoria. And tonight we remember some of the Queen's most memorable moments in the East Midlands and talk to some of the people who've met her. And first we join our correspondent Gareth Owen who's at a party at the Leyland Retirement Village in Derby, a place which has been important to the Queen since before her coronation. Hello, yes, welcome to Derby, welcome to the Leylands. As you can see, the residents are having their own party to celebrate the Queen's historic landmark. We'll try to talk to a few of them in just a moment. Uh, but, you know, this place has a really significant connection with the Queen. She uh, came here on her first visit to this city back in the 50s. She came again 20 years later. She's a patron here as well. And I'm joined now by uh, Val Walsh, the estate manager here, who can tell us a little bit more about that uh, connection. A fairly uh, unassuming place, but you know, big connections with the Queen. Well, just explain those connections. Yeah, absolutely. The Queen is the patron of the charity. Uh, she first visited in 1957 and she came again to celebrate the um, Silver Jubilee. So we've seen the Queen twice at the estate. Obviously, we have no residents who are with us still that were there at the time. I do know she came to have a look round. I think the second visit was a briefer visit. She just kind of drove through and I think she was visiting the whole of Derby at the time. It must be wonderful for you all to have such a such an important connection with the Queen and she's obviously very fond of this place as well. She is and we're very proud. Uh, the residents also have been to visit the Queen at St James's Palace. Uh, we went in 2008 so that's the last time we met up with her. Okay Val, thank you for joining us. We'll try and talk to a few of the residents here in uh, just a few moments but um, the Queen's visit here in the 50s wasn't the first visit to the East Midlands. Let's take a look now at that very first visit to Nottingham and some of the other highlights over the past five decades. The of the Queen is in full swing and I've just been told that actually a few people here have met the Queen in person including Pauline here. Hello Pauline, you, Hello. you met her in the 70s, is that right? Yes, 77 when she came to Derby and I think it was made a city then and it was a lovely because myself and my friend were cub, cub mistress and we took all the cubs down. And what was it like? Exciting? What was the atmosphere? Very exciting. Very, very exciting. She looked lovely. Lovely stuff. Thank you, Pauline. Well, um, the Leylands itself, as we said, has got a really strong connection with the Queen, and as well as the Queen visiting here twice, she invited some staff and some of the residents here down to London in 2007, and uh, one of those who made the trip was Margaret over here. So, Margaret, tell us about your trip to see the Queen. Oh, yes, I went to see the Queen so many years ago. It was a lovely outing. Beautifully organised by us here. What was she like? Did you just tell me? She is lovely. And when the doors are open, she appears, this dear little soul. She was. She was lovely. And, and, and people wait, waiting to speak to her. And everyone holds her in such affection still. Why do you think that is? Yes. Because she looks directly at you. She's talking to you. She's thinking about you and what you've done. Lovely. Well, thank you very much for sharing that with us, Margaret. So lots and lots of memories there of visits with the Queen. And I think you've been sharing some of your photos and memories with us too. So we can leave the party here at the Leylands for now and head back to the studio to have a look at a few of them.